Here we are with my top 20 NES games. I'm going to take a sip of my oolong tea. Let's get to it right now. All right, so the Nintendo Entertainment System is such an iconic system. It was one that was really big in our household. The Atari 2600 being the first uh, video game console we had in our house, but the NES was second, and it was great times had by all. I was inspired to do this video by Back in the Day Gamer. Link in the description below with his video. He is such a funny guy. I love his channel, so everything he does. Uh, great dude. I was able to meet him at too many games once. Great guy. So here we are. We're going to start off with number 20, and that is Double Dribble. This is a game we received with the console on Christmas, and it was fun had by all. Me, my sister, my dad playing this game all together, you know, switching off, you know, getting mad, throwing the controller, having to put the system away because we threw the controller. Great times had by all. But Honestly, yeah, really great game. My dad was a big basketball guy, so I'm sure he had some say in uh, them buying this game for us. And we did figure out, of course, as we all know from that South Park episode, back in the day, you could figure out, you know, that sweet spot for the three. You drain the three pretty much every single time. And all right, so number 19, here we go. RBI Baseball. Now, there are a lot of sports titles just because I played sports growing up. And um, so and so did neighborhood kids. And what would happen is there would be a group of us neighborhood kids that would all get together and we'd have tournaments and games, RBI Baseball being one of them. It's a great game. It's really fun. It, I still have fun with it now. I don't really play sports games uh, really anymore. But this is one that is a lot of fun to play. Uh, if you are into baseball, even going back to it, I know, you know, the way graphics are, you know, now compared to, you know, then, uh, sometimes it's hard to play these old games, but a lot of good memories with this one. Uh, so yeah, RBI baseball coming in at number 19, coming in eight and 18 is a similar type of game, but it's bad news baseball. This is a fun, quirky baseball game though. And another one that us neighborhood kids would get together at somebody's house, uh, it was always different, and we would play this game. And same si kind of thing. Uh, we wouldn't really win anything except for bragging rights, really. Uh, but yeah, it was always fun to see, you know, who was going to win. And um, it was always a lot of fun. Just even get together and hang out, right? So yeah, so coming in 18, bad news, baseball. So coming in hot on number 17 is one that I don't have in my hands physically. I don't know what happened to it or where it is right now, but it's ice hockey. Ice hockey, I was a big hockey guy growing up. And this one was a great one, a classic NES game for me, and that is ice hockey. I still will put it in and play it a little bit. Uh, well, I would if I could find it, but... Um, from time to time. And although at this point, it's not as fun just for the fact that you can really beat the heck out of the opponents. Um, just a matter of finding out how to, how to play the good arrangement of different guys. Cause you can set them, you know, to skinny medium or big old dudes. And, uh, it is, it was a fun game. Used to have a lot of fun playing it really getting frustrated, you know, but another one that you could have tournaments in and play with uh, your friends. So yes, so coming in at 17, ice hockey. Now coming in at number 16, we have Marble Madness. Now this is a game I would go to my cousin, one of my cousin's house, and she had this game. And this was different. This isn't, wasn't a game that I was used to typically playing, but it was fun. And it still is. It, it was very frustrating back then. I have a little more patience now and I'm better at it now. And actually, I do find myself actually losing myself and playing this game. I can play it for an hour and be like, 
geez, that was fun. Had a good time. You know, move on to something else if I want to or continue playing it. It actually is a fun game. Uh, after a while, though, you do can you can get frustrated just because of the the uh, uh, some of the level. But hey, still a fun game. I like it. Uh, what do you guys think about it? But yes, that's coming in at number sixteen, Marvel Madness. So coming in at number fifteen, we have the classic Mario Brothers. Now, when we had when when we had our NES. We got it for Christmas. They had the Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt game. I was never really into Duck Hunt, um, but I did love Mario Brothers. Uh, trying to, at first, at least, the handle on the character. Get, Mario's kind of slippery, so you kind of had to get used to that and, and really kind of figure out how to even maneuver um, Mario. But it was, it was a fun thing to do is just try to figure out the game. Uh, what pipes you could go down to, which one you couldn't, uh, finding warps, um, you know, trying to make it through all the levels, uh, you know, without, you know, trying to beat it that way. The one thing I would say was really cool was that somebody was telling me at one point growing up that, oh, you can make, you can get 99 lives. And so on certain boards, and I would do this too, uh, it would, it took me a little while to get the timing down right, but like there are levels where there are, there are um, Koopas or the Beatles, and um, if you they're coming down the stairs, and if you time it just right, you keep jumping on the shell, you keep jumping on it, you eventually you go through all the points, and then you'll um, get one ups, and you keep doing that, and you'll uh, as long as you don't fall up to the ground, like I said, it's all timing, staying up in the air, staying up on the shell. Uh, and you may be familiar with that little trick, but uh, I don't know if I could do it anymore. But that was always uh, an interesting little uh, trick that you could do to be more lives. So a lot of great memories with Mario Brothers. So coming in at number 14. World Championship Wrestling! Now we have the Road Warriors in the, on the front cover here. This is one that we would rent, uh, cousin and I would rent uh, all the time, and it was a lot of fun. I always remember uh, beating this game. We stayed up because our parents, like, they would play cards and, you know, listen to music and, and uh, party uh, in one house. And what we would do, because we just lived down the road, is uh, we'd go to our house and we play video games, or or there was uh, another family friend too that we would go and, and play video games there those nights, and so it was a lot of fun. Um, and we would, I remember one night we were like, we're gonna beat this game. We've done, we, we would do that. We like, all right, we're gonna beat this game, and so we would s stay up until we beat it, and we did beat it. We beat it with Sting, and uh, the last wrestler was Vader, and so. To beat him with Sting was cool because if you know back in the day with wrestling, when Vader came in, like there was that feud with Sting and, and uh, Vader. It wasn't that easy. I remember it being pretty difficult uh, to do so. And, but it was, it was cool. It was a cool memory. So, yeah. Love it. World Championship Wrestling. Now, where am I at? 13? Coming in at 13? I think so. We're going to call it 13 anyway is Super Spike V-Ball. Now this is a double cart just because um, my Super Spike V-Ball cart was, was just worn out. <laughs> um, so yeah, Super Spike V-Ball is one I put a ton of hours into. I always loved this game. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'd always use the beefy dudes. like, uh, And it was one game when, when, I, uh, when I bought my NES for... A dollar from my uh, stepfather at a yard sale. Uh, one of the first games I had to buy, Super Spike V-Ball. Just a game. I don't know what it is about it, but I always had fun playing that game. And I still do. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. I can't really give you any sort of um, information why, but it was a game I would rent growing up. Um, and just one that I had tons of fun playing. And I was just like, man, I have to play this game. Uh, or I have to buy this game when I got my Nintendo again. And so 
yeah, Super Spike V-Ball, just a, just a staple for me. Uh, great game. All right, so coming in at number 12. And this is Double Dragon 2. I prefer the second one over the first one. Uh, I don't know what it is. I love how you could knee the guy like way across the screen. Uh, they had that one enemy that would like disintegrate and then come back. I don't know why he always reminded me of that that guy on the Running Man, the one that had all the lights to it. Lighthead, hey Christmas tree, Richard. A lot of good, uh, uh, great times playing this game. Usually, you know, you, uh, it was just one that I would rent a lot and uh, one that I liked. So yes, Double Dragon Two, great game. All right, so have a little bit of an edit here or a little back of the future moment if you will so all right so number 11 on my list super dodgeball now this is another game i can't tell you why it's one of my favorites it's just one of those ones i just get involved with i have fun playing like a lot of these games most of these games that i went over tonight i got lost in them and i played them until i beat them and so just to capture footage, I just kept playing them because I was having so much fun with them. And that's what really this list is about. It's just games that uh, have memories for me or just really uh, I have so much fun playing even to this day. Now, I will say it's always interesting uh, with Super Dodgeball and Super Spike V-Ball, the last opponents are the Soviet Union. And now, you know, the USSR, that was... Uh, the big U.S. opponent, the biggest rival. You know, the Cold War spilled into video games. Um, they were ingraining in us. You know, that was our big rival. So it was kind of interesting looking back at that now and seeing that with some of these games like that. But yeah, Super Dodgeball, super fun game. It's one of those ones, if you haven't played in a while and you see it cheap, I don't think it's a very expensive game but you see out in the wild it's worth picking up and playing um i had fun with it just uh capturing footage and yeah that's my list 11 through 20 uh hopefully i'm gonna start capturing footage for the first 10 but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make your list put it down below uh, i had a lot of fun and um like i said i was inspired by back in the day gamer i'll put the link in the description below to his video and his channel so yeah definitely check that out if you don't know who he is for some reason um but yeah so until next time see you bye